Right guys, just thought I'd do this quick video regarding um, my 14 volt uh, drill, Ryobi drill, and my 18 volt drill, and how I got the 18 volt uh, drill battery to fit both. And um, there might be some comments about burning the motor out or blowing it up or overclocking the motor in some way. I'm not particularly bothered about that. I did it because of the size of this unit. I have problems with my hands and the big, not this particular 18 volt, uh, as this is fairly new. But I've got an 18 volt which is much larger than this um, and sometimes find it harder. Even with a small battery, I find it harder to uh, to sort of hold it and for an extended period and things like that. So my my 14 volt is is a fair bit smaller and I manage this a lot easier. Um, so the problem I was having was that my 14, it's a 14.4 volt and I don't know if Roby even do it anymore, but it's a great little drill because of its size for me. And as it just ha so happens, I bought some new batteries and got this 18 volt drill recently. It's a tiny bit bigger, but not a lot in it, but my, like I'm saying, the 18 volt that I tend to use is really big uh, by comparison to both of these units. So I thought what I would try and do is see if I could get my 14.4 volt to run on an 18 volt battery, the lithium battery, because this one, I've got one NICAD battery for it and that's it. And I leave it on my six, um, six port charger and it will charge on there even though again that's an 18 volt charger i do have the 14 4 charger um but it works really well plugged into my my bank of six um ryobi charger so that has shown no problems with performance or overcharging it's got overcharge protection built in and all that stuff but i only have one battery and it's nicad so i wanted to see whether or not this because it was physically smaller would be able to run on one of these and I've managed to do that. So I'll show you on the base of the 18 volt compared to the 14 volt, the difference. Now you'll see that I've butchered this, okay? Because what, what the only difference is, as you can probably tell, is this is a straight line here. And this had two little corners added to it in the molded plastic. And that was the only thing that was preventing the 18 volt battery from actually slotting straight in. So when I, I eyed everything up, everything seemed to line up really well. The side clips and everything. This back edge was the same. Um, it was literally those two. So I took my a little Dremel to it. Appreciated that the only thing, I was going to probably have some damage. Um, as you can probably tell there and I've made a mark 14 and 18 volts so just to remind me that it's been adapted and I can use either in it um, so what I all that's left to do really with this one this is the the 14 volt um, I can show you that on the label actually there you go so it's 14.4 volts okay and this one is the 18 volt unit so if I show you that going in there, if I can do it with one hand, okay. All right, that's absolutely fine in there because it's supposed to be in there. And then take that out of there. And this is the 14.4 volt, same battery. This one here, look, is the 18 volt battery. Push it on. Um, just noticed something actually while I'm shooting this is that we've got the tiny little overlap. Can you see just here um, where the body will hit? But it doesn't seem to stop it contacting in any way. Look, there's a slight gap there, but this works fine as well. So I might well just um, cut this. I don't really tend to use that anyway. And to get a slightly better fit. I may well just chop the front end off of this. It's only a bit of plastic anyway with the Dremel and just get it to drop in slightly closer. Um, but beyond that, that's the only thing and it's not actually stopping it from working at all. Um, just trying to get that out with one hand. See, it's literally just across there. So I might well just chop that out as well uh, just to get a, a closer fit. 
but I thought that might be useful. Someone out there might have the 14 volt. Um, may, maybe the battery has died and they don't want to buy any more, but they've perhaps got loads of 18 volt batteries. Then you're going to obviously get this, if this is designed to run 14 and you're putting 18 through it, it might cause issues. But other than that, it also might increase the power uh, to some extent. And you might be able to get a little bit more out of this. I don't know. But I thought I would just mention it because um, that's what I've decided to do. I've got a couple of drills knocking around and I thought, what the heck, if this one burns out, then I've got a couple of others anyway. So um, there you go. Hopefully this is going to be useful for someone.